Thank you for your interest in the WCU Community Engaged Scholars Program. This short video will show you how to join the WCU group on Give Pulse. So the first thing you want to do is visit go.illinois.edu slash WCU-GP. You'll see the link up at the top of the screen here. If you follow this link, it will take you to the WCU group page where you'll be invited to either log in or create an account to continue. If you're an existing Give Pulse user, feel free to go ahead and log in here. Otherwise, you'll want to create an account. We do recommend the University of Illinois students sign up with their net ID to create their account because Give Pulse is actually a campus wide platform and signing up with your net ID allows you to connect with other UIUC students across campus and meet other like minded peers who are interested in making a positive impact on the community. Uh, when you click sign on net I with the net ID it will go ahead and take you to that typical U of I sign on page that you see with any other web based apps or services and you'll be prompted to complete two factor authentication. And of course, just make sure you check the uh, box at the bottom of the screen there to agree to the terms of service. Now, once you've created your give pulse account you'll be taken back to a page where you'll have to request to join the WCU group. Once uh, those uh, requests are actually automatically approved so go ahead and just press that button. Uh, and you'll be taken to a page with a very short survey on it. We do encourage students to complete the survey because it helps us to understand the students that we're working with and ensure that we see use continued support and improvement uh, as a, a University of Illinois program. If you decide not to participate in that survey, that is okay too. You can go ahead and go straight to, the, to Give Pulse and to view volunteer opportunities. So on Give Pulse, volunteer opportunities are actually referred to as events. So when you go to the WCU page, you'll look for the events tab right there, um, which you can see we've got kind of circled there. And if you click on that events tab, you'll get a list of currently available service opportunities that WCU has to offer. Now, please note that service opportunity availability has a lot to do with when you log in. If you take a look at this video at the very beginning of the semester, we may still be very busily adding uh, service opportunities for the session to uh, give pulse still. So you may not see anything or you may see events from the, the past session still showing up there. So. Um, you know, just be patient with us and uh, we will, once we have all of those events loaded into Give Pulse, we actually send an email out, uh, you know, to announce that the new session has begun and you'll be able to see all of the events then. Um, if you're logging in a little bit later in the semester and you don't see much that is of interest to you, we do uh, recommend that first you check back on a regular basis because we, add those events as community partners reach out to us and let us know of their needs. And then also keep an eye on the weekly WCU newsletter uh, where we also uh, announce the new events or in, in the newsletter, we refer to them as service opportunities. Now, when you find an event that seems like it may be interesting, go ahead and click on the name of the event. Here, you would just go ahead and click on Central Illinois Neuropsychological Services. Um, and that'll give you the details of the event. And you'll see this screenshot just shows a little bit of the details of the event because this is an old event, right? Um, but we wanted to give you an idea of what that screen kind of looks like. So while when the screen, when the um, program is actually in session, then this box that you see up here at the top that says registration opens will be replaced uh, by a registration button. So there's your registration button. Um, most events open when program enrollment begins for the semester for each session. So students who attend the info session and anyone on the WCU email list will receive an email announcement when Give Pulse is open for the session. So the best way to stay informed of and to you know get first pick of the of the service opportunities available is to either attend that info session or make sure you're checking emails from WCU if you're already on the WCU email list. 
Okay. So once you click register, you'll be taken to a, a screen where you can um, go ahead and indicate that you're part of the WeCU group by browsing the groups. And once you type in, start typing in WeCU, it'll come up. And then you'll just need to remember to agree to the platform liability release form. And when you click continue, that will actually finish your registration. And that next page just says, thanks for registering. Please contact the organizer if you have questions. Um, please do keep in mind uh, that if you need to cancel your registration for any reason, you can go back in and hit the cancel registration button. Um, we do ask that you please cancel your registration if you're not interested or if something else has come up and you're not available. Uh, because we want to make sure that other students have the opportunity to sign up for the event. So just be sure you cancel. Uh, if you need to cancel, cancel as early as possible uh, so that we can make that opportunity available. And also, you know, make sure that we can fulfill our promise to our, our service partner in, in helping them find the people they need to complete their the semester-long service project. So that is just a little bit about how to join WeCU. If you would like to learn more about WeCU's program structure, the kind of supports we provide, uh, how to, you know, a, a little bit more about service opportunities or proposing your own um, service project, that kind of information, we highly recommend that you join us for the WeCU info session. You can get more information about the WeCU info session by going to go.illinois.edu slash WeCU info. Um, depending on when you go there, uh, depending on when you visit the link, you'll either be taken to a registration page or a recording of the info session. Thank you again for your interest in WeCU, and we hope you will join us in making a positive impact this year.